Katie and Alex's big day has been a true epic in the making, and their celebration banquet is finally drawing to a close, which at a wedding can mean only one thing. It's that time, Red Bull time, speech time. First up, of course, it's the stepfather of the bride, Paul Price. Right. What I do know about Alex is that he's a gentle man. He loves Kate, he makes her happy, he makes her feel secure and protected. I could then talk about Kate, but I don't want to blow her trumpet too much. I wish them all the happiness and love to Kate and Alex. Toast. Well done. Groom Alex is the next to take the mic. Who would have thought I would have been standing here a year ago? Anyone? <laughs> I, a whirlwind. A whirlwind. Fairy tale. I stand here looking at all of my special friends, family, and new special friends, and new family, and especially you. And it's 100% worth it. And I'm just going to leave you with this analogy. Maybe I should. It's a bit cheesy, but I'm a bit cheesy. I'm like an oyster. I have a rugged shell. I'm tough, but in my heart, the thing that I hold most dear to me is my precious pearl. Katie, you are my pearl. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. And you're my pearl. I can't live without you. Aww. I love you. <laughs> and thank you, everybody. Thank you so much for coming. Now it's the turn of Alex's brother, best man Rupert. It's my great honour and privilege to welcome Kate to our family. And from the bottom of my heart, I wish you a long, fruitful and happy marriage. Hey. And I'd like to propose toast to Alex and Kate. Alex and Kate. Alex and Kate. Thank you. Thank you very much. Finally, in a break from tradition, Bride Katie has decided that she will do the all-important thank yous. Go, on, baby. If I don't speak now, I'm on, so I've had a drink. You come here. There's a lot of people I'd like to thank. My mum and Carol. You've done so well, both of you, helping me put this wedding together. Joe, Joe. one of our nannies. Come She's on down, been Joe. brilliant. Woo! So that's for you, Joe. Thank you. Thank you, Your Joe. best nanny. Actually, all my nannies are here, and I've given them all a night off. Apart from, well, Louise. Sorry, Louise. But what a <laughs> Two special people in my life who've been with me through thick and thin and through everything. Woo! I don't believe you're crying. I'm not. <laughs> Do you want me to take over? Sorry. Gary and Phil. <laughs> no, honestly, oh, well, I've had one cry. Right. Get so back to it, bitch. November. No. Oh. Ah, that's all. I've got a holiday. Yeah. <laughs> Who's scared of that? <laughs> no, the Premier Inn at the bottom of the road, like everyone else. <laughs> so I get emotional because I don't think people realise as well how good they've been to me through everything. In fact, all of my bridesmaids, they all mean something to me, which is why they're bridesmaids. I've known most of them since I was 15. And also, lots of people have been um upset because we couldn't actually invite everyone to the wedding. So I genuinely mean this, that everyone who's here, we, wa we want to be up. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you. She's been quite emotional, which I really like. She's cried. But I think it's gone well, and now the best time is coming now. So, I think an overhaul. Oh my god, what a day. But I now would relax and enjoy it. He's a very strong, loyal guy, Alex. I learned that when he comes out of Big Brother. It doesn't matter how much they this is going to turn. Doesn't matter how much like he was she was dated, he was still there for her. So it's good. It's gonna work. It will work. And I'm pleased and I'm So happy. can we go and enjoy so the wedding? So I'm going then? now to enjoy the wedding with daughter worse than Kate. Number two. Come on, and she Mom. is worse. Believe me. Upstairs. 
a little worse for wear. That's so much better. Bride and groom are taking a break to enjoy some time together. Come home. You give it to me, bye, friend. If I know you, this is a garter belt or something. Oh, Dan, how did you guess that? I bet it is. How did you guess that? Is that is gorgeous. Where did you get that from? It's worth a few quid. Oh, shut up, Alex. Take that back. With a... Where did you get that from? That is gorgeous. That's a diamond horse. It's unique. It's a diamond oh, in the shape of a horse. You have to, I have to put that on. That is gorgeous. Why was you waiting until now? Because you were a little bit stressed earlier. Oh, well, it was just uncomfy getting wind. You're a, I've no, been really, so I feel like it's my birthday. Stress, stress. Do you like it? Yes, I do. You definitely need to insure it, trust me. That's all I have to say. That is so thoughtful. Who thought of that? Truthfully. Well. Truthfully. I wanted to get you some. You spoiled me. <laughs> I love my necklace so much. Good. The only present I'll be giving you this year is a baby. But in the meantime, let's go and party with our guests. Hey, I'm going to give you a baby. Exactly, let's go. All right, let's go. With the wedding guests assembled, it's curtains up for the grand finale. Katie's drafted in West End cabaret performers for an all-out, camp-it-up extravaganza. As a final nod to the traditions of the day, Katie's about to throw her bouquet. OK. Who wants it? And as a last parting gift to their wedding guests, Katie and Alex take to the stage. Next time, Katie and Alex head off to tropical Thailand on their honeymoon. Oh, yeah. Where they ditch the luxuries oh. and go back to basics. Wait, let me drink it. You self, what about Survivor? I just don't feel safe. Oh, no. I scratched the Pradas. I love you. I love you too. Cheers. Cheers.